Hello there. Welcome back to vlog number 34. It's a Sunday. I'm sleepy. I am so, so tired. And today I'd like to talk a bit about organization, more specifically to-do lists and how I think they're incredibly helpful. So I first started using to-do lists after reading a book. The book was called The One Thing by Gary Keller. To make it as simple as possible, it's about taking goals that you have, tasks that you have, and breaking them down into single components. The book has like a focus at the beginning about calling out multitasking and how multitasking isn't actually a thing we do. In reality, we're doing one task and switching back and forth between tasks, but you're still focused on one thing at a time, even when you're multitasking. And in theory, you might be thinking, well, that's really obvious. If you want to get something done, you, you know what you have to get done. Like, I want to write a book, for example. That's my goal. I want to write a book. How, how simpler can that get? You know, <laughs> it's not simple. Obviously, it's not simple. It's a fucking book. It's 300 pages. It encourages the thought process of, if I want to write a book, okay, I'm going to have 12 chapters in my book with room to grow. Uh, okay, is it a storybook? What characters do I have? Uh, break it down into, into tasks. All the components, the book is the goal and it's the pyramid of components. At the very basis, you, you have your characters, how you want to develop your characters, the storyline, etc. etc. I, I don't know, I've never read a book, but I'm just using it as an example. <laughs> and so it would tell you, okay, you've got these tasks, these to-do tasks, you've broken them down into the smallest components. Now when are you gonna start? So the to-do this is where this is where personally to-do tasks come in handy for me. I personally like having a, a, a list per week and also a list per day. It helps me really organize my thoughts. Every morning I know exactly what I want to get done in that day. I won't break it down any further than that because I also have a calendar with an hour scheduled for my day, but I encourage you if you have a to-do list and you have tasks in your mind, you know roughly how long a task is gonna take, allocate that time in your day and stick to it. Because I've definitely been in situations before I, before I started doing this, uh, in college, for example, when I had a project, I roughly said like, okay, the deadline's in two weeks. I can start next week. I'll do a bit every day and I'll finish it, whatever. And then at the end of the day, I'm sitting in the library the, de the day before the deadline and I'm just cramming. So <laughs> we want to avoid that as much as possible for your own sanity, really. Writing things down and having a visual goal has always helped me plan my days. And I don't think I've gone a day without completing the things that I wanted to do since I started doing this. Rarely, obviously there's outliers, sick days, something important comes up, you have to do something else. You might not get to all your tasks, but the majority of the time I do all the tasks that I have set. And that's largely because I focus on one thing at a time and I don't, and I don't look at the whole and get overwhelmed myself. Writing a book is an overwhelming statement. Now, now planning out a character, sorry, my phone started ringing, is a lot more simpler than that. I think you get what I'm trying to say. If you understood, please let me know in the comments below, like, yeah, that made sense, or you're, you're bonkers, leave me alone. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.